Okay, hello and good morning. We have a project to do today, and we are going to make robots. <laughs> the, good, the kids are very excited about this. Um, so we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the hardware store to get our supplies. Not Home Depot. No, not also Home Depot. We're going to the hardware store to get our supplies. Hopefully, we'll find everything we need there, and then we're going to come back here, and we are going to make robots. Okay, so. The place is already a hot mess. We finished breakfast. Everyone's dressed. Even Ariel's hair is combed. I'm feeling good about that. The Legos have already been scattered. The baby. It's chill for now, but already getting impatient. I found this uh, this project on this website, uh, researchparent.com. It, it seems like they have a lot of interesting stuff on it, so I'm gonna have to check it out some more. But just in searching for building robots with kids, um, I found this website. I can find the things that I need. So I printed off what the kids need. Um, no, I printed off the list of the things that they need so that they can have something in hand. I like them to have something tangible they can hold on to, they can look at their list and see what they got um, instead of just having the website open on my phone and me doing it myself. Make sure that they're fully participating in this from beginning to end. Um, and ask questions while we're there and see what we can find. Hopefully we'll get everything we need and we'll get it made today <laughs> because they are so excited. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're going to get going. Hey, Jumba? Mm hmm mm hmm Big mouth full of bananas. Mmm, banana. Okay, so let's get going. Okay. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how long it takes us to get outside. And we're heading to a local hardware store. Um, I like to do things as locally as possible, especially because then you don't have to get in the car and move it and then repark it later, <laughs> which can add God knows how much time to any trip. So we're going to see, I don't know, sometimes they're not open. Hopefully they'll be there and open and they'll help us get everything we need. any luck at a first hardware store uh, nice guy really friendly but if you're looking for mostly construction stuff they don't really have any electrical stuff so no battery holders or little motors or any such thing so we're gonna try another little hardware store and if we don't have any luck there might have to do Home Depot but I really really don't want to get in the car <laughs> last time we parked the car it took us like 40 minutes to find parking so we're really not in the mood to move the car today <laughs> Okay, so my worst fears have been realized and neither hardware store have what we're looking for. One was mainly construction, other had plumbing stuff, but no electrical. So I think we're just gonna have to head to Home Depot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was fun just getting into the car. We're going to Home Depot now. Uh, hopefully at least we'll get everything in one spot so we'll be able to do it fast, right guys? We're gonna yeah. work together and get it done quickly. All right, go team. Okay, the baby's happy. Yeah, but he needs pacifier. I can reach you. Okay, give him his pacifier. I can't. Okay, I'll do it. And we're gonna go. Let's roll. <laughs> Okay, so Home Depot was a bust, <laughs> too. Um, we had no luck, and I'm learning as I go, which is great. We had a great associate in Home Depot, but they lacked most of the things I needed. So he suggested a couple of electrical shops that might have 
the things that we need. I'd like to take them there. I'm getting in there and talking to the associates and... Okay, my son is hungry. Stop changing focus. I have to leave now and get him food. I guess our next project is lunch. All right, well, here we are back home again. Home Depot, as I mentioned, did not work out. Um, so we have a couple of, we have a couple of suggestions from the fellow there as to places we can go to get all the things we need for this robot. Now, we could go the easier route and just get it on Amazon, but I really want these guys to get the practical feeling of going into the store and talking to the people, asking questions, and finding what they need. It's amazing how convenient something like Amazon is, but with all that wonderful convenience, sometimes we miss out on these like daily practical life lessons that can be had, especially for the kids, when we do it in person. It's a little bit harder, actually it's a lot harder. We just spent 30 minutes looking for parking after having bought nothing. <laughs> but I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely worth it. At the end of the day, if we don't find what we need in the stores, I will order them online, but we're going to try again. We're going to go out tomorrow, get out there, get what we need. Okay, that's it for now. I think we're going to make some banana loaf. Oh, yes, awesome. But everybody, come into my circus. This is awesome. This play robot. Okay. Oh, Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. Jump into my party so can show up. No, that, you know, I'm not putting any of that. I'm not putting any of that. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, buddy. Okay, everybody. Goodbye, camera. We're done. <laughs>